Hi beautiful people, my name is Jackie and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you all my updated version of the current me versus future me exercise by the amazing Lavendaire. If you're new here, I make videos on how to have a peaceful life and take charge of your own success. If you don't know what this exercise is, it's basically you have two pages and on the first page you write down everything about your current self. So it's like journaling and drawing your current self and where you are at the moment in life and how you're feeling, what you're doing, and basically how you've grown in life. And then on a separate piece of paper, you're going to draw your future self and how you really envision your future self to be like. So you can really go as crazy as you want when it comes to your future self. It's really just envisioning how you want your best life to possibly be like. For me, I like to envision my future self in the present moment, living the life that I aspire to have. And also, if you do want to see my first video that I made with this exercise, it's all the way in 2017, and I'll leave the link down below so you can take a look at that as well. All right, now on to the video. Hello, this is me as the 2020 Jackie. I'm feeling vibrant, more peaceful, and in charge. I'm also married to the love of my life, and we are building our life together. <laughs> Honestly, guys, it is such an amazing experience to have such a loving and supportive partner. <sighs> Marriage has been so great so far, and I absolutely love it. These past years, I've been healing and discovering who I really am and what is really valuable to me. Ever since my grandpa passed and people are starting to grow up and get old and life happens, I realized how much I really value my family and faith. It may not always be perfect, but I'm grateful to have a loving family. Honestly, you may have the best job ever and you may have the most fulfilling career, but that's all temporary, you know? What isn't temporary is the faith and the love that I have for my family. So these past years, I've been trying my absolute best to make those things a priority. I also discovered that I value freedom in life so much. I don't want to be a slave for a nine to five for the rest of my life. I mean, that's great for now, but forever? That's why I decided to be debt free. This decision really gave me the opportunity to work on a career I truly want to pursue, such as having my massage business, working on YouTube, and hopefully someday starting an online business of my own. It's all so I can work for myself, create my own schedule, and have the freedom I truly desire. And of course, being debt free is not easy. It took so much hard work to pay off debt and Oh, a lot of sacrifices, but it's definitely worth it. Now, I really found peace when I discovered how I view success. For me, success isn't what the world tells me success should look like. Success isn't about how much money you make or your status or how many likes you have. Success is defined by you. You get to choose how you want to live your life and what makes you feel the happiest, not anyone else. And when I discovered this, I found true peace within. No longer was I comparing myself to others or thinking I should live the way others want me to live. When I started to believe in myself, the pressure of the world faded away. This may sound harsh at times, but some people, even the people you love, won't believe in you. So you have to be your own biggest cheerleader. With this mindset comes peace and less anxiety about the future. The peace I have within really came from discovering these things and of course, always putting faith and family first. This doesn't mean I don't have negative emotions. Right now, we are in a pandemic and now I'm feeling anxious about health and sickness and I know I still need to work on my emotions and my communication. And most importantly, I have more growing to do. So let's talk about the future me and how I plan to grow. I'm gonna draw myself, so sorry guys, I can't draw well. <laughs> but this is me. 
I'm confident, I'm elegant, wise, healthy, soft-spoken, but I allow others to know what's on my mind. And I love being gentle, but also confident. So I am focusing on heart work because that's so important. In the future, I give back. I'm extremely hospitable. I speak my mind in a truthful way, an assertive way without being aggressive or too passive. And of course, I have a sense of positivity and light that people feel when I am around them. Health-wise, I feel lighter, I am more energetic, I am constantly working on my emotions and inner self so that my environment can be healthy for everyone. For my family, I am as loving as possible. I am a mother in the far, far, far future, <laughs> but I am a mother nonetheless with kids and I want to be a top-notch cook. I'm cooking now every day, but I want to be more creative in the kitchen and I just want it to be natural, you know? Like, I love those people who can just cook up anything in the kitchen. And yep, that's who I want to be. I just find them so creative, so motherly, um, and so nurturing. And I really love those qualities. As for my career, by this time next year, I have 1,000 subscribers. But in five years, I have 100,000 subscribers. And those subscribers will always be dear to my heart as my main purpose is to make a positive impact in this wonderful YouTube community. I still value freedom so much, and my husband and I are traveling the world. We are completely debt-free. We have no financial stress, which allows us to take more risks in investing. And we, of course, this is the most important, we are able to help out our family, our loved ones, and the community. And honestly, we are really just free to have the lifestyle we want. Ultimately, I am working on having the best life ever, and I know I can achieve my goals. I believe and know that you all will too. So, let's all have the best life ever. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching. That was my version of the current me versus future me 2020 version. And I was actually watching my old video from 2017, and I really see the growth since then. I really wanted to be a stronger person back then. I wanted to experience more, grow more, uh, be my full self. And I feel like that's happened so much these past three years. I've experienced more life in many good ways, but also uncomfortable ways. But honestly, sometimes when you experience hardships or uncomfortable things in life, that's when you really start to understand yourself better. And I don't know, I just think that I can see myself being the person that I truly want to be. I still have so much light within me that I want to share with you in the world. I still have that like that little flicker in my <laughs> in my heart to just to be the best that I could possibly be. So this exercise is amazing for anyone who really wants to track their growth and really live the best life that they possibly want. And also with this exercise, I decided to make a digital vision board on Canva. And what I used was Canva and Pinterest to make my vision board and I'll go ahead and show you right now. This vision board actually helps to motivate me with my future goals. And leave a comment down below if you'd like to learn how to make this digital vision board. I actually leave it as my wallpaper on my iPad to keep me encouraged and positive, especially during these times. It's a great thing to do. I think the current me versus future me is a great exercise. And then with the vision board, it all ties the vision together. So <sighs> I'm just more excited about life now, even though I know we're in the pandemic and life is uncertain and crazy but I still, I just still feel motivated and I feel a sense of peace if I keep myself thinking about positive things, you know? Anyway, thank you again so much for watching my video. Your support and your love mean so much to me. I love making YouTube videos as you all know, so thank you so, so much for watching. It really just makes me so happy to know that at least my message can reach someone's heart. So if you'd like, please subscribe and click the notification bell down below. Leave a comment if you'd like to watch more videos like this or just any other suggestions that you have. And I love you all so, so, so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!